So, we did a little video a little while ago regarding a company called Gala U, and it was regarding one of their cameras, one of their security cameras, and ironically, I quite enjoyed it. I think one of the best things I did enjoy about it was the app, the app that allowed me to control everything physically regarding the camera, and ironically, I really did like it. It turned out I'm still using it to this day as well, so it is actually really good. Well, they decided to send over another one of their cameras, and this is more on the lines of a, like a baby camera or a pet camera or an indoor security camera. So that's what we're looking at today. We're looking at the Gally U 2K indoor security camera. So guys, this is what we're looking at. This is the Gala U G2 2K home security indoor camera. Now for these sort of things, you're more likely to have them as a pet monitor or like say a baby camera or anything like that, or just an area in your house you want to protect, like say if you go away on holiday, vacation, all that good stuff. You can have something like this that'll just sit in the background and record everything you need. So of course, what we're going to do is get this unboxed, see what we're working with, see what we get actually inside the box. We're going to go through the camera itself. And of course, we're going to do the installation guide how to actually get it set up on your phone and roughly see what it's actually capable of and pretty much what it looks like as an indoor security camera. So I'll get it all unboxed and we'll go from there. So this is everything we get inside the box. So we do start off with a little user manual here. It's just gonna tell you everything you need to know about the product. Obviously the QR code to actually get it downloaded either through the Google Play Store or the App Store. Tells you a little bit of information about the camera as well as what you get in the box. And then it does have a few things about the indicators light situation. So you've got the light status, uh, you've got your blue light on, blue light flash and blue light solid. It'll tell you the issues if you have any through the way the lights are. You have the user guide, which we are going to go through. I'm going to scan the QR code in a minute and download the app. I already have the app because I already have one of these cameras, but I'll show you where you can download it. And then we also have, obviously, you need a register account, all that good stuff. Tells you how to input the password correctly and everything like that. So you're never going to go wrong. <clears throat> It also gives you a little bit of information about the back about adding the G2. Now the app will help you as well, but they also give you a little description on the back here of roughly how to get it added in, which is quite nice to see. And then it's got a few things about, it's got tips obviously about the camera itself, uh, things about the settings menu, like how to actually share your account with other people. And then it's just got a few things about the micro SD slot, like how to put the micro SD card in, where it goes. And then they've got a few things about their call emails, just in case you run into any issues. Now we also have four plugs and four screws here. So if you do want to mount this to a surface or a wall, you can do. We get a basic UK plug style um, power brick and power charger. Obviously very generic, simple that. USB port inside, nothing special, but as always, it's just the same. And then this camera, ironically, is actually powered by USB type C. Now this is the first camera, indoor camera I've seen that's actually powered by USB type C. So it's actually quite nice to, uh, to see. So as we can see here, we've got USB to USB Type-C. Very much a lengthy cable. If you need it longer, you can get them for next to nothing. Now we also have the mounting bracket as well. What this essentially does is you stick this on the surface. It's got the two points where you need to drill your holes. And then that will allow you to put on the base plate. Now the base plate will go onto the surface you are actually attaching the camera to. Then you'll get your camera, insert it, twist it, and you're good to go. Pretty much as easy as that. Now let's get into the camera. Now this is the camera itself. As we can see, we've got the Gala U logo going on there. We've got the actual lens itself. It's also sat in a pendulum as well, so it does spin. But obviously when we go for the app, we'll be able to see that in a little bit more better detail. Now we do have the lens at the top here, but if I move the lens upwards, we can see a little slot there, just right there. That'll be for your micro USD card, uh, micro USD. That'll be for your micro card. We have the lens as well as the sensor and then obviously the microphones as well. Now on the back of here, we do have the QR code as well as a serial number. On the back of the camera, we do have a speaker. So this is obviously for if you are gonna be talking through the speaker, this is where it'll be projected from. We have a reset button. So this is gonna be more used for when we actually get it set up. And then we also have the USB type C port for the power capability. Now on the bottom here, we do have the little mount here, which is gonna be for the backing bracket, just like that. So that's gonna sit there, you twist it and it's all locked in, good as gold. And then we do have a little bit of information about it. The model IP camera powers five volt, one amps, pretty generic as well as some other information. And that is pretty much it. So what I need to do is actually get some power to this, get my phone and actually start downloading the app or showing you where to download the app and go in from there. Camera's gonna go there. I'm gonna put a screen recording of my phone here. So I just need to find my phone. And then 
on the box itself or the actual user manual, I'm going to scan the QR code just here. Give that a scan, open in Chrome. So as soon as you open it in Chrome, it'll come up with this, which is the Ones View Cloud app. All you need to do is simply click on download, click open, and it will go to your representative store. I already have the app. Oop. I already have the app, so I don't need to worry about that. So what we need to do is actually add a new device. So when you're on this top right hand side, there is a little plus symbol. Click on the plus. What we need to do is find this camera. This is the Gala U one. So we need to go Gala U. And then we have the G2. So I need to click on G2. So it's going to tell you all the information right now. I just need to get this plugged in and actually get some power to it. So I'll quickly do that now. It is flashing blue a little bit. Oh, no, it's going to do its thing. It's going to start resetting. As we can see, it's now moving. It's going to start calibrating itself. So I'm just going to let that do its thing quickly. And then we're going to revert back to the app. So it says make sure the indicator is flashing or a prompt tone is heard. So what I need to do is I'm going to quickly check to see if it is flashing. I need to set up an, I need to log into my Wi-Fi. Just remember that it needs to be a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, not five. This can be done by your provider. Uh, you can go on to your actual IP address through obviously the URL and all that and actually set it up that way. You can set up a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, which is pretty very simple. So as I just said there, it says, please uh, move the QR code three to eight inches in front of the camera lens. If you hear QR code scanning is successful, then press next. So what I need to do is point this in the direction of the camera. So what I'm going to do is quickly scan the QR code. QR code scan is successful. And there we go. So the QR code has been scanned successfully. To the Wi-Fi. It's now connected to the Wi-Fi. So now when you click on next, what it's going to do, it says 120 seconds. Um, it's going to connect to the network. It's going to register on the cloud. And then it's going to initialize the device. So we're going to give it a couple, um, it says 110 seconds. Probably won't take that long and then we'll go up from there. So as we can see, it's connected to the network. It's now registering on the cloud. So it's going to do its thing there. Shouldn't take too much longer. And then it's going to initialize the device. Is successful. And, you there... Can start using the camera now. and there we go. It's all done. So first of all, we need to name the camera. So I'm just going to name it room. Click on OK. And then it's going to tell you everything about the cloud storage experience of the cloud storage. But we're going to leave that for now. So the bottom one that says bedroom, don't worry about that. That's for a different camera. We are concentrating on the top one that says room. So what we're going to do is click on that first. Click on that first. Click on that first. I am going to mute it because the interference, because the phone is so clo close, is very bad. But as we can see, there's my hand. And it is extremely responsive, I have to admit, already. So we'll go for the process, going through everything, and we'll go from there. So first of all, FHD. So you do have two functions. We have full HD and SD. So depending on what you're doing, whether you're doing full day recordings, maybe go for SD so it's not as heavy on the storage. But if you're just doing monitoring or live uh, live viewing, just full HD is uh, quite a good one. But I have to admit, quality-wise, it really is actually incredible. Like even that box itself, we can read that very clearly. So very good on that part. So top left-hand corner, we've got a little Wi-Fi signal, um, 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi signal. It's about halfway, which isn't too bad. And then bottom right-hand corner tells you the, uh, the kilobytes per second, which is pretty cool. Now we do have four codes on the bar. We do have volume. I currently have it muted, so you don't have to hear it. But that'll literally, you'll be able to hear what the camera hears. Microphone, it will allow for the microphone so for you to speak into that. So whatever's on the other end, whether you're speaking to someone that shouldn't be in a place where they should be, you can speak over the camera and allow them to hear it. We do have the record function as well as the screenshot function, which are pretty cool. They will be saved in your gallery. Now we also have five more on the bottom. We have alerts, replay, console, position as well as siren so if we go to alerts they what this it says exactly what it is it'll tell you all the alerts what's actually going on for this camera which is pretty cool we have replay so what this will allow you to do is go through obviously we don't have anything at the moment but what this will allow you to do is go through all the history of all the different things you've recorded obviously that comes under the plan as well as the sd card we have console so what this allows us to do is actually change the direction of the actual camera which is very responsive i have to admit so we do have all the way to the ceiling and then we have all the way tilted downwards and then we can control it that way as well. Relatively really smooth, I have to admit. Obviously, it is very smooth. It's not juttering all over the place, so you don't have to worry about that. It's very controllable, so I do enjoy that part. Now we also have position. So this will be obviously favorite position. So if I go back to console and I set it to pointing towards the window, click on the little uh, star, oh, now that's saved the position, exit off that, go to position, I have two here, so I can click on this one, 
and the camera will automatically turn back to where it was or I can click this one and it'll go back to where I want it to be. So you can have this located on different areas in your home or your house, your area and you can just select through them instead of having to do it manually you can just click through them and see which one you actually want to go to which is pretty cool. Now we also have the siren. Now I am going to play this, it's going to be quite loud so if you are wearing headphones please be careful. So if you if your camera does detect something you don't like and you don't appreciate what you can do is hit the siren button and you'll have two things you'll have siren off or on as well as trigger by motion so if someone does walk past it automatically the siren will go off but this is what it sounds like So that is what the siren siren sounds like when it's actually set off so if this is pointing at an area and it sees something it shouldn't and you set it off to be the siren it's going to tell them listen you're in the wrong place get out so what we'll do now is head over to the settings so i'm going to go to the settings bar we have a few things so we have the the device name which i've named room camera information and we have camera information which i'm not going to go into we have invite family and friends so you can just invite a new family so if you have like your mum, your dad, brother, sister, dog, uncle, auntie, whoever you want. You can do this by just simply sending them off by an email and they have automatic uh, device. So we have three uh, users that can be shared to this device, which is pretty cool. Advanced settings, so we have a few. We have image rotation, so it'll actually show you whether you've got it upright or inverted, depending if it's on a wall, a floor, a ceiling. We have auto night vision, so it speaks for itself. When as soon as it starts getting dark, the camera will automatically go into night vision. We have AC frequency as well, depending on what yours runs on. We've got 50 and 60 hertz. And then we can turn the LED indicator on and off, which is pretty simple. We have privacy settings, so you can turn the camera off. So basically what it means, the camera will stay on, but it'll stop actually recording and viewing. So you can turn that off, and then you can also set up a schedule. So if you don't want it to record in certain times of the day or the night or whatever, you can set up a schedule to actually turn it on and off 24-7. Schedule in, you've got schedule one and schedule two. Privacy area, you can set up an actual privacy area for this. So say if it's pointing at something, I don't know, maybe your driveway and you only want to see the actual car, we can move this around and actually set up for it to just see certain things, which is pretty cool. And then of course we have camera microphone again, we can just turn this on or off. And then we also have camera time zone, depending on where you are in the world. Obviously it has every single time zone known to man. Right now going down to motion detection, so we have a uh, detection area, we have full area. So if we wanted to detect an night in the entire space like we have here, well obviously I can reduce that down a little bit. Like if I just want this por portion to be detected or that bit or that bit, you have full utilization of this or as in me, detect everywhere. We have sensitivity levels as well, so it could be as simple as someone going, you know, it's going to detect something, you know, like human activity and then high sensitivity will be like it'll probably detect everything like say curtain movements in the wind and all that sort of stuff motion alert so we can turn on motion alert so if it does see anything going on we can also schedule that 24 7 schedule one and two as well as any everything else going on there which is pretty cool we have networks obviously if you need to change the network obviously via a wi-fi over qr code or the wi-fi connection by soft ap we can also do that and that would be by the QR code on the back of the camera itself. But we've got it connected over Wi-Fi through router so we don't have to worry about it. And then we also have device management. So we can either reset the camera, restore the camera's factory settings, which is pretty cool. Or even if you decide you want to, you can also delete the camera. So guys, there we have it. That was the video regarding the little 2K security camera. And I have to admit, ironically, it did very, very well. Even from the likes of the app, the response time for me moving my hand towards the camera or the camera moving around different areas was very, very quick. There wasn't a great deal of um, like differs or difference or anything like that. I wasn't moving my hand and 20 seconds later it was showing up on the camera. No, so I definitely give them perks for the camera. I, I think one of my favorite things was the preset of actually um, being able to set up where you want this camera to point. So it's like, say if you have four locations, you want you know your front garden or whatever, or you've got this set up and you can actually save them presets so instead of having to manually change the camera to look you can just go over to your favorites click on the selected one the camera will automatically move to whatever you've already preset it as and i think that was one of my favorites i haven't really seen that plus the matter of fact that it does use a usb type c cable to actually apply power which one thing i did enjoy I don't really see cameras the actually up to now actually changing it but i have to admit i really did enjoy it 
and obviously it was quite cool no matter of fact that you can connect this up to the Amazon or Google you know your Alexa and all that sort of stuff I'm start trying to talk to me I have to admit relatively a really cool little camera so if you do want to go check one of these out for yourself please do look in the video description there'll be a link there so you can go check them out and as always if the video did help you in any way shape or form don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell and as always have a great day